Hi everyone! I've got a real quick craft for you today but um, I've been playing and I just love this idea. Um, right, I'm sure that many of you save brown carrier bags. I've got one here. It measures, where's my ruler? Um, hang on a second, I'll tell you what this one measures. It is approximately 12 by just under 12 by just under 10 inches. Um, and then I'm going to be using a tag as well. We're making a gift bag and card. Um, this is just a piece of cereal box and I have attached some brown packaging to it um, that came off the same roll that this one um, here did. And then I've got a card blank and I've cut a five and a half by five and a half inch square um, that I'm going to use to adhere to um, my, my gift card. Um, so right, I'm going to start off with um, the packaging bag first of all. Let me just check that I'm in camera and then you need to go and raid your garden for those of you that um, are just stepping into spring. I've got um, a leaf from a maple tree. If you guys are in Australia or New Zealand where you're just coming into your winter season then you're going to have to use a stamp I'm afraid because I guess that your leaves are starting to shrivel up so I'm sorry but you'll either have to wait or or you know use use something else, improvise. But I have got um, some paint on a palette here. I've got white, um, I've got some um, psychedelic orange. This is is Ducroft's Artiste fabric paint. Um, I've got it in the um, fluorescent orange and fluorescent pink. I picked these up on clearance in the range, I think it was. It could have been the works for a pound a, a while ago, and I've only used them a couple of times, but I thought they'd be perfect for this. Um, and then I've got um, a makeup sponge. And so what I am going to do, first of all, I'm going to work, uh, put my um, bag off to one side. I'm going to dab my leaf with some white paint. Um, all over. There we go. These are quite delicate, so it's a bit fiddly because they, they do move around a bit, um, but it's fine. So keep dabbing on that um, white paint until the whole of your leaf is, is covered. You don't have to be neat um, about it, but do try and get um, as close to the edges um, as you as you can. Um, because we're going to use the leaf as a stamp. There we go, we've got the white on, so that will that will do there. And then I'm going to come in with some of the orange and I'm going to dab that on as well, not everywhere, um, just in a couple of places. I don't want to cover sort of all of the, the white. Here we go, and then I'm going to come in and do exactly the same thing then um, with the with the pink. I'm going to use the same sponge. I'm not bothering to choose a, a new one. Here we go. So this is a really simple way of making gift gift bags. Here we go. And then you can come in with a bit more white um, if you want to as well. Why not? Let's just use some of the extra white in a couple of places. There we go. And then I'm going to move this out of the way because of course it's got all that paint on it. And I'm going to stamp my leaf onto my bag. So just be careful whilst you're positioning your leaf to make sure that you get it in the position that you want it. And then bear with me because I just want to, in fact, I just want to come on with a different piece of, of paper. I'm not very organised, am I? So I'm going to go over the top just so that I can smush this down now. Be careful when you're doing this that you're not sort of moving the leaf around. There we go. And then I'm going to peel carefully my leaf up and how cool is that? I just think that is absolutely gorgeous. And when that's dry, um, I can draw on a stem. So put that to one side and then bring in um, my card base. 
And then I've got um, a slightly different, let me just bring, bring that back again. It doesn't matter if I get paint on the back of this because I'm going to glue it down. Now I've got a slightly smaller leaf from my garden and I'm going to repeat the process. Um, I need to put out some, some more paint. So as soon as I've done that, I'll be back. I brought the camera down a bit because um, the leaf is smaller. So I'm going to come in again with the white, first of all. And stamp that all over. Then come in and do exactly the same thing with the pink and the orange. We'll go for the orange first again. Aren't these colours just gorgeous? You can tell that the weather's starting to get better here because I'm feeling that I just want to come in with them um, with much brighter summery colours and then I'm going to do the same with the with the pink. Here we go. Bring in some of some of that. And again if you want to sort of add some of the white on top you can do. There we go. And then right move that out of the way for a minute. Oh pop that on the floor and then stamp my card face careful how you position it. Right, pop that down. I'm going to come in with a clean piece of paper this time. Let me just go and grab another one. Oh, here we go. Press that down. There we go. And then be careful how we lift this up. And just how cool is that? I just think that's absolutely wonderful. Um, and then I'm going to do exactly the same thing with my tag. I've got um, an even smaller leaf from the garden. So for the tag, I'm going to use this one, this one here. And as soon as I've dried everything, um, I'll come back before I draw my stems on. The cards are, are drying on the floor, but I've got quite a lot of paint left on my leaf. And so rather than waste it, I'm just going to pop it and press it down on the mop-up paper um, that I was using before. There we go. We might as well use up some of that um, leftover paint. There we go. And we've got another image. Let's um, see if we can get any more because we can use this as a, as a background for another, another project. Let's just keep stamping until we've used up all of that paint and I'll keep going with all of the leaves. And then let's use up this piece of paper here because I have quite um, a lot of paint left on my palette. So what I am going to do is I'm going to use my sponge now and I'm just going to come on and make some patterns like, like this. Here we go. And just fill in the whole of this page until I've run out of paint. And as soon as I've done that, I'll come back. And here we are, here's my finished um, bag and um, and cards. I just absolutely love how this has turned out. Um, I finished off my stem using a mixture of gel pens. These are the ones that um, that Rain gave me. So I used the, the pinks and the oranges in that. And I also used um, some neon fine liners as well. Um, and then I added a, a few highlights using a white um, jelly roll pen. Um, and then I inked around the edges of the brown paper before I glued it down to my card base and I used two colours. I used the Distress Oxide in Spiced Marmalade. Of course you could just use a felt tip pen um, to ink around the edges. It's absolutely fine. And then I used um, Picked Raspberry um, for, for a second layer just to pick out the colours um, in the leaf and I just love how that has turned out. And then I added some garden twine just to sort of you know keep with the um, rustic feel of, of this. So and I've, I've attached my um, tag to my bag. Um, that's the bag as well. Let's just make sure that I'm in camera for you. Now if you have only got bags um, that have got um, print on them like this one here um, then you could always go over the print with some black gesso. I had a go at pr uh, stamping on black cardstock and isn't this I just think that stands out so well. I just think that's so much fun. So I think if you went over with black paint or black gesso, um, then, you know, that would work. Um, and then keep your leaves. I can add some varnish or, or something to these. Um, 
even matte medium and I can use these in a in a future project as well. Um, these have been drying on my boiler um, overnight but they're quite fragile so as I say I'm going to need to add some kind of varnish or, or something just to stabilise them. Um, but I just think that's a really fun project and then of course I was using the Muppet paint as well. That was the um, page that I created using the makeup sponge and these are the stamped leaves and then I just went around the edge to create a border just because I could <laughs> with the left over paint so there we go let me just pop this back down um so leaf printing i just think that's a great idea for quick simple bags and you know that took 10 10 minutes plus drying time that's all anyway i hope you liked that if you did i'd really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the in the comments below and please feel free to to share this video if you think somebody else would um, find it helpful anyway take care for now see you all again soon